Hello and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Man, I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. Let's get into our email. Let's see what we have going on. Let's do this one right here. It says, you work with computers, right? Something's definitely broken. I keep getting blue screens with loads of error text. My friend says she thinks it's the CPU. Can you get that done in 10 days? It's not as quick as it used to be. It looks a bit bland in there. Some plastic white cables might make it look nicer. So a budget of $2250 to replace the CPU and the graphics card. Let's see what they've got. An i9-7940X and an MSI GTX 980 Ti Gaming Golden Edition. Hmm. Wonder if we can upgrade them for, uh, for their budget. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll uh, see what we can put in there, but let's go ahead, let's accept that one, and then let's do this build. It says, can you help me out with something? If I don't get a new computer soon, I'm gonna scream. The CPU needs to be cooled with a custom water cooling loop. Please, can you overclock the CPU to 45, 25 megahertz? I really want the GPU to be the fastest it can be. Let's aim for 1950 megahertz. Can you get it done quickly? I worry about used parts, regards. Nicholas Joyce. So a bunch of $6,500 to custom water cool the CPU and overclock the CPU and the GPU. Pretty sure we can make that happen for $6,500. We're going to put something nice in there for that. For that amount of money. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Okay, let's get the shop open. Let's get the custom water cooling shop open. I'm going to step away. I'm going to get some parts for this build. Put into the shopping cart, and I will be right back. All right, for this build, we're going to go with a Corsair CPU block, an Alpha Cool Reservoir, and two 480 millimeter Corsair radiators. For the rest of the build, we're going to do an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3960X. We're going to put that in an Asus ROG Strix TRX 40E gaming motherboard. Four sticks of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM, 8 gig, 3600 megahertz. A Zotac RTX 2080 Ti Amp Extreme. Patriot Viper M.2 drive, two terabytes, 1300 watt power supply. We're gonna add four Mortoni Heataway RGB fans. We're gonna put all of that in the Ragentech Inyo case. All right. All right, so we do have, we do have this repair. But I think I'm going to wait for it to come in, and then we'll just order stuff. I think we'll just order stuff when it comes in. So, let's go ahead. Let's buy all of this for next day delivery. Let's buy all of this. Let's go into our day. We can get in our parts and our repair, and we can get to work. All right. That must be something from PC Bay. Let's grab this fix. Let's get it put over here. Oh, there's no side side window. And then let's get this massive case, and we'll put that thing over there. Get our sticky note. We'll get that put there as well. Let's take a look at this thing, though. Let's take a look at this. Place the CPU, GPU. Wonder if we need to check on anything else. Let's get this CPU out of here first, though. Let's see if it is indeed broken. Actually, let's grab the graphics card, too. We'll check both of them at the same time. Let's do fits this PC. It is broken. All right, what about the graphics card? Graphics card is also broken. Now, should we upgrade? Should we try to upgrade this 980 Ti to something better? That is the question. That is definitely the question. Because it is old. It's very old. Like, what if we, uh, what if we threw this in here? Uh, they said they wanted white, plastic, white cables. Well, that's not going to change anything. That did take. So they're saying that was uh, $1,000 for that 2080 Super, which is a much better card. 
much, much better. Uh, let's let's take this side panel off. Let's get rid of these yellow, these yellow cables. I feel like this power supply is a little inferior, but you know, if it's working for them, if it's working. So we need to go get an i9 7940X. Let's grab one of those. 7940X. Uh, let's do same day, buy it now. And let's get it installed. Let's get rid of this broken one. We don't need that. We don't need that cluttering up the inventory. Now, the real question is going to come. If they're going to accept the new graphics card. Let's get their cooler back on. I believe it was that one. Do they have any... Oh, they've got one stick of RAM. I was like, do they have any RAM? Alright, let's cable things up. They were saying it didn't seem as fast as it used to be, so that makes me think that they might have viruses. But let's see if this thing powers. Let's hop into the BIOS real quick. Let's see if their XMP is on, or if it even needs to be. Yeah, that did a little something. Um, are they really booting from... Okay. Let's see if that's actually the drive they're booting from. It probably is. <laughs> it probably is. Yep, it is. <laughs> it is. What is this? Is this their 3D Mark score? 117? <laughs> that can't be right. Oh, no. Uh, let's put a USB drive in here. And let's put... Let's put the virus scanner on. Oh, let's see if they have any viruses. Maybe. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's scan this thing. There we go. 269, that's not the worst. Not the worst I've ever seen. I, I feel I feel like I want to run 3D Mark. Like if they had a score of 117. What? I'm gonna install it. I'm gonna install it. I'll step away and run it so you guys don't have to watch. I, I feel like I feel like we're gonna get dinged or something for not. For them having a 3D Mark score of 117. I mean, I'm pretty sure that most uh, most CPUs integrated graphics get a higher score than that. So I'm going to get 3D Mark running just really quick. I'm going to step away. As soon as it's done, I'll come right back. All right, there it is. 10,154. That's so much better than the 117 <laughs> they were previously posting. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's get this case put back together. We can get to work on this build. Well, let's get this thing out in the hallway. There, there, whoa. Whoa, dropped a couple of frames there. All right, let's get this mammoth case taken apart. Can't even see. Isn't there a screw over there somewhere? There it is. This thing's big. I'm zoomed out as far as I can, too. Just in case you're wondering. Just in case. That's just uh, how big this thing is. It's a beast. Let's see. I think uh, we're going to put put a radiator up here in the top. So we'll remove that as well. All right. Let's get started on this thing. Let's get our motherboard. We've got this Asus ROG Strix TRX40E gaming motherboard. Which I think is an EATX. So it's a... Big motherboard, it looks tiny in this huge case. <laughs> Let's get this thing ready for uh, CPU and RAM. Oh, these bottom ones don't open, okay. Okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Let's get our 3960X in here. Get this thing all closed up. 
Uh, we'll get the RAM installed. We've got four sticks of this Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro in white. It's 8 gig, 3600 megahertz. Whoops. If I can install it in the right spot. There we go. All four sticks are in there. Very nice. Well, let's get some thermal paste on that CPU. I want to go ahead and get the CPU block on there. We've got the Corsair Hydro X series in white. So we'll get that installed. While we're at it, let's grab our radiators. We've got two of these Corsair 480 millimeter radiators. I'm going to put one down here at the bottom. There we go. And one up at the top. Nice. And then while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and get these front fans put in. Not that we need them. I just wanted some RGB up at the front of this case. If you want to know the honest truth, <laughs> that's why I got the cheapest RGB fans I could. All right, two more. Let's come down here to the bottom so we can see what we're doing. There we go. There we go. All right. Next. Let's grab this reservoir. We've got this Alpha Cool, whatever that E word is. S Beecher, Be I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's German. I don't speak German. So let's get this. Let's get this reservoir installed. Then grab some storage. We get that installed as well. We've got the paper paper. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The Patriot Viper VP4100 2 terabyte drive. We get that installed. Then we need a power supply. We got the EVGA a Supernova 1300 watt G2. It goes right there. I wish we could install two. This case has space for two, but we can only install one power supply in it. Be nice if they updated it at some point where we could actually put two power supplies in there. Oh, let's get rid of this, this broken GPU. We're going to use the Zotac Gaming RTX 2080 Ti Amp Edition in here. So there we go. There we go. Okay, so I think we are ready to cable and tube this up so let's start with the piping let's start with the piping uh let's do let's do white rigid and what do we have for fittings that blue would look nice maybe sure let's do it let's do blue which one of these is out okay so that's out so i want to go out in out in how do I want to run this I don't think I want to run it that way I don't know let me step away for a sec let me think about how I want to incorporate both of these both of these uh, radiators because I want it to run through both of them before it goes to the CPU so give me just a sec I'll be right back okay I think I have an idea I want to do this. Let's go out from here and into here. And I may have to step away to get this. Some of these bins right. It might take a little bit of time. But I'll do as much as I can while I'm recording. Just don't want you guys to have to sit here forever while I play around with bins. Let's uh let's get rid of that bend. And let's extend this up. Okay. Okay, I can work with that. 
then let's go out of here and all the way up and across to here. But not like that, because that looks absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, I think I have this about how I want it. You don't even want to know how long. You don't want to know. You don't want to know how long that took. You really don't. But let's go ahead and accept that. And then we're going to come out of here and into CPU block. Let's see if we can do this one. A little bit quicker, not quite as long of a run. Let's bring this down some. What? I don't see where it's touching anything. I think that's a lie. I think, I think it's a lie. All right. Can we make it match at least the one that is behind it? All right, I can live with that as well. And then let's run from here to the reservoir. Let's see, maybe we'll go a different way. Maybe we'll go across the top of the graphics card like so. Let's come, whoa, there's extra bins I didn't realize were there. Let's get this thing offset a little bit. Let's bring it down. I, uh, I kind of like the way that looks. I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and accept that. Okay, now... Now we need cables. Let's do some... Oh... I could spell let's do some white and blue since we've got the we have white and blue do I not have white and blue oh here we go here we go I was gonna say I was gonna say I better have white and blue let's get everything cabled up here whoa whatever that is running what Whatever. Let's get everything cabled up. Then we can grab a USB drive and get that installed. And finally, let's get some coolant. I'm gonna do some blue opaque UV coolant. And we're gonna let that run through. While that's doing that though, cause that's gonna take a minute. Let's get some of the parts and put back on this case. You at least do the front and the top and maybe this side because I don't think I have to access this side anymore, really. There we go. There we go. Is this thing done? It seems to be. So let's power it on. Let's hop into the BIOS. We've got to overclock this thing to 4525. That should be pretty easy. There's 4525. Let's bump this up to 1.5 volts. Let's turn on XMP. Let's let this thing boot up. There we go. Well, let's get the lighting app on. We also have to overclock the graphics cards. So let's get everything we need for that, including OCCT. Because I need to check the stability of that CPU overclock I just did, even though it was just a little tiny one. All right, let's start up OCCT. 4525, let's run this. It takes 30 seconds. So we'll just do that together. Make sure this thing doesn't throttle or crash. Everything looks to be pretty good right now. And then we need to get the GPU to 1950 megahertz.
So I think our CPU seems to be mostly stable. So let's open up a GPU tuner. Let's just take that all the way up. Let's get this to 1950. Boom, we'll apply that. Let's run OCCT one more time. Make sure everything is stable. Seventy four C on the GPU, that's not bad. Not bad at all. We could probably take that CPU up a lot higher than that, because it's running nice and cool. But I don't want to press my luck. So we're We're looking good. I just want to change some colors. Need to run a 3D mark test. Actually, I think what I want to do. Select it all. And honestly, let's see what rainbow looks like. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. So, I'm going to get 3D Mark running. If this thing crashes, blue screens, whatever happens, or if I make it all the way to the end and get a score, I will come right back and show you. All right, so there it is, 13,693. I don't think the score really even mattered. We just need to get the case put back together. So let's get this side panel put on. We can take a quick look at this thing, this beast. I can't even zoom out any further to show everything all at once. But I think it turned out pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. All right, let's get this thing out in the hall. We can collect some money. Let's check. This one, this is the repair. Let's collect that. Four stars. Okay, whatever. Whatever. You didn't like that we upgraded your graphics card. That's fine. That is fine. Let's collect this build. Five stars. We'll take it. We will take it. Got some daily deals. Uh, maybe there's some good stuff in there. Maybe there is some good stuff. But before we go, let's go check our PC Bay sales. Got three days remaining. We're at 1140, 974, 2691, and 1945. If you didn't see the episode where we built these, I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner. You can go and check that video out. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. It's free and it would help me out a whole lot. And you'll get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you guys in the next episode.